Hey guys, Carol City with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Popinika Choju Koki Neo Beat Machine set from B Fire Kabuto. These are the large vehicles used by the second B Fire team, which have various feelings on their own and can also combine. The including set is just the three Neo Beat Machines. So, let's get started. Kabutoron, Hashin. First up, we have B Fire Kabuto's Kabutoron, the successor to Beat Looter. Similar to Beat Looter, this is a six wheeled battle vehicle based on a Rhino Beetle. Obviously, done up in the same gold and black color scheme as B-Fired Kabuto. It's got a much more sleek and streamlined design to it. You see the nice chrome gold horn here at the front. With some stickers adorned to it. Got the cockpit here. And similar to the Beat Machine box, I got this used, so there is a little bit of damage to the chrome, a little bit of damage to the chrome up here, but it's not too much of a big deal. Got the wings here. Got these six rubber tires down here. Some chrome jets at the back. Take a look at the bottom. You can see that as part of the Popinika series, this does have some metal in it, specifically the frame for the wheels. So, besides rolling around, Kabutoron has two main gimmicks. The first is that if you press the silver button on the back, that causes the wings to flip open for flight mode. Where we can now see some more jet boosters inside the wings. They're also done up with chrome silver. Second is that there are a pair of levers back here. So if we take those levers and squeeze them together, That causes it to flip up into bell formation, where it now has the horn digging in the ground to dig for underground enemies. Still rolls around, this time just on these two wheels here. And it does work like that, but the springs on mine are a little bit on the weak side, so, or at least for the wings, are a little bit on the loose side, so it does kind of cause them to accidentally pop open. In addition to that, you can also click it down onto the back two wheels to have it sort of imitate its horn thruster attack. And then it clicks back into place, just like so. Kuwagatanku Hashin! Second, we have B-Fired Kuwagar's Kuwaga Tank, the successor to the Stagger Tank. So once again, it's a tank vehicle based on a Stag Wheel. Once again, a little bit more sleek, with a smaller flame, smaller frame to it, done mainly in gunmetal gray and silver, with some red accents to it. Got the cockpit and the claws here at the front. Nice guns on the sides and the top. Once again, you've got some chrome boosters at the back. And various stickers, including ones for the symbol. Once again, it does have some rubber Kellett Pill tank treads, or rubber tank treads, as well as some wheels. And in terms of the diecast, it's you know, this piece here that holds together the framework. Of course, it can roll around on the wheels and treads. And then it has two gimmicks to it. First is that if you press this one here on the side, it causes it to flip up into bell formation. And then there's a little lever here on the back that gets revealed, and if you pull that down, 
that causes the uh, claws to shoot forward for its shoot scissors attack. And we can see that this piece here is also chromed out. Then you instantly reset by clicking everything back into place. Stairs to Gyro, Hashin! Third, we have B Fire Tento's Stealth Gyro, successor to the Red Gyro. And this one is actually mainly black and grey, with some silver with some purple accents, as well as some chrome silver to it. The main thing here is that you have the wings back here that move inwards and outwards, like so. You got the cockpit with some guns attached to it, various stickers. You have the second generation B fire symbol here. The chrome comes in the form of the wheel suspension or the landing gear. You've got the chrome rotors. This will have these rotors here, which can rotate around to be in upward or forward position. There's one more gimmick it has that involves all three Neo Beat machines. Finally, the three Neo Beat machines can also connect together. So, to take a look at the rotors for Stealth Gyro, you can see each one has a pair of claws attached to it. So, what we do with these is that we'll open up. And put Kawaga tank on this side. And then Kabutoran will go on this side. Like that, we now have the joint formation. And this lets Stealth Gyro carry other two into battle. And though they have metal in them, it still is strong enough to actually lift both of them up off the ground. So indeed it can properly fly around with them. And then they can be disconnected by switching the tabs and pulling off Self gyro. And there we go. So overall this set definitely has its merits, with the Neo Beat machines each having their own little gimmicks, and combined together for the joint formation. And in a similar manner to the Beat machines, the Neo Beat machines were brought over to the US for Beetleboard's Metallics as the BVs, with the main difference being that they were once again split up into three separate releases while still using the same molds, with perhaps the main differences being the differences in use of perhaps paint or chrome or metal, but being virtually the same toys aside from that. So they may be easier ones to get if you're looking to pick these up. And while this is definitely not my usual thing to do, well with me you know, usually sticking to the more current releases, it is nice to take a look back at these more retro toys from the 90s and see what they were like, so it's nice for me to be able to show these with you guys. But we'll be getting back on track with current releases, where next time we'll be looking at the Deluxe Boost Mark 9 Raise Buckle. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRS50, riding off.